Welcome back everyone. I'm meteorologist Violet Skyber. Welcome to the severe weather show and we have something new this year to pass along to you that we're going to start this year and continue for future years. It's called alert mode and what that means is when it's issued something serious is going to happen. Some type of severe weather that can cause damage to life or property. So let's talk about what alert mode is. I'm going to explain what it is when we will be issuing it, and also why it's so important to get across to you as the viewers. It's mainly during those events that are going to be quite damaging. So let's explain first what alert mode is. We will be issuing it for dangerous weather. So not every single warning or watch, but we will be issuing it for storms or winter events that again could cause the most damage. We will change the background of the screen to red, as you can see behind me on the left and right. Normally we have a brick, but we are seeing red on our virtual set. Same thing. We're going to have a red background. And once you see that, you know that today we're going to see some hazardous conditions, especially dangerous. And on the seven day, we're also going to be highlighting that day specifically in red. So you know that that dangerous weather will be on that exact day and you can prepare for it ahead of time. And again, the reason why we're adding alert mode is to bring emphasis to these severe weather threats because they are so important to get across, especially ahead of time. So what we are going to be using the alert mode for severe weather, again, watches, warnings, and even the potential for dangerous weather. So if we're watching a weather system that we think could produce some pretty damaging conditions, we're going to issue an alert mode for that. Now, what I mean is what it includes. The SPC issues risks for severe thunderstorms. We're not going to issue an alert day for every single severe thunderstorm. It will just be for an enhanced risk. So that means a pretty high chance that we're likely going to get some severe thunderstorms. Now for tornadoes, if we have a tornado watch, we'll issue alert mode. Or if the SPC has a likely chance for some tornadoes, a high risk, then we will use it as well. If conditions look favorable, for us in our forecast. Again, we're going to issue that alert mode, alert mode for you. Again, also other watches and warnings, flash flood, blizzard, ice storm, high wind, and winter storm warnings, only the most extreme, just because we do get a lot of those in the winter. So we're going to just use alert mode for the ones we'll, where we'll get some very heavy snowfall. So now I wanna show you an example. What I was just talking about with the SPC, enhanced, slight risk, Let's explain what all of that means. So this is the convective outlook. This map basically shows where it's most likely that we're going to see some severe weather. Now, marginal is this green shading. That's where we could see some isolated severe thunderstorms. The yellow is slight. That's going to be scattered severe thunderstorms. Now, enhanced is what we would issue an alert day for, and that's going to be more scattered to numerous, maybe even widespread going towards the high chance, and that's when we can see some pretty damaging conditions like damaging winds, hail, or even flooding. And this is day two as just another example. You can see that enhanced zone on there. So why is alert mode so important for safety, to keep the community safe, prevent any injuries or loss of life? We're just trying to update you on the risk of damage before it even happens. In the damage risk, we will also tell you about potential hazards what damage could occur, and areas to stay away from, especially flood-prone zones, or maybe where the strongest winds of a storm could be. And also, we're going to help you prepare, knowing the threat ahead of time and getting prepared for that event. As Again, we're going to highlight that event on the seven day. And if you do want to become a sky watcher and report those severe weather conditions, definitely welcome. If you want to become one, you need to get the right equipment though, an outdoor thermometer. You could get a rain gauge as well, but you'll want to report your conditions just before shows or if we are live covering a severe thunderstorm or tornado warning. And you can email any of your updates to weather at WKTV.com or our Facebook page, WKTV Weather. And also download our app as well. It's available in any of the app stores. You can get our forecasts, alerts, maps, and videos. And I also do want to tell you, turn on the alerts and you will get updates for any type of potential severe weather. Now let's look at your trivia question. So what state ranks number one in hail damage claims? Is it A? Florida, B, Texas, 
or C, Colorado? I'll give you a minute to think about the answer first. So, it's B, Texas. So in 2019, Texas had over 190,000 claims due to hail damage, and it's followed up by Colorado and Nebraska. And stay tuned, we'll have the next segment coming up.